Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Persona 5. Looks like we got our next mission and boy, did this escalate quickly. The Mafia? Can we really do this? Either way, we have almost no information on our target. Yeah, this is ridiculously tough. This guy's a crime boss, so I wouldn't be surprised if he had a palace. Still. Isn't this a prime opportunity for us, though? How? We're in huge trouble! Even after we punished an evil man who seemed to be good, the public did not acknowledge us. However, if we take down an actual criminal, let alone a target the police don't have answers for... Oh, right! That might make people believe in us! I get it! That means even a catch you'll have to acknowledge us as the Phantom Thieves. And we get we'd be able to score two or three birds in one. What do you say, leader? <sighs> Let's prove our justice. Hell yeah! We just gotta do what we always do. Our time limit is two weeks, correct? We can't afford to waste too much time. I'll ask around Kosei and see if there are any victims. Okay, I know some girls who go to Shibuya pretty often. I'll check with them about it. All right, and I'm gonna see what I can find on the net. That leaves our school up to you and Morgana. We have a plan. You figured out what to do during the whole Kamoshida thing, right? I'll back you up. All right, let's get back together at the end of the week once we've got all our info. I'll get in touch with you guys later. All right. Go team, go. We have a plan, sort of. Finding out the information before we even are able to set foot into the palace, that's okay. gonna be tough. We're meeting in front of the school tomorrow, right? Don't worry, I'm sure we'll find something new. Hey. Could I have a moment? Of course, Yusuke, what's up? Well, it's... I had a yearning to see this Sayuri. So if you're heading homeward, I'll accompany you. Yeah, of course, you're always welcome. Indeed. Ah, the Sayuri. It seems to suit this cafe quite well. I'm, I'm glad I chose to leave it here. I'm glad you did too. <sighs> Angelus, I fear I have found myself in quite a horrible mess. Calm down, Yusuke. Believe me, I am attempting to withhold my anxiety as much as possible. But to put it bluntly, I am in need of your assistance. Please listen to what I must say. Hmm. Throughout my artistic career, there have been moments I've struggled with particular motifs or techniques. However, these struggles came to pass on each occasion. Yet now I find myself in a similar situation, but the more I try to escape it, the worse it becomes. It seems I am trapped in what we in the art world call a slump. To tell the truth, are you aware that I am attending Kosei on an art scholarship? Such coveted grants are not given as charity. I must continually achieve within my field to remain eligible. Were I to lose my scholarship, I would likely have no choice but to leave the school as well. In the earlier days of my career, I would exclusively paint what I desired, when I desired it. The only goal I had in mind was the pursuit of pure beauty. That goal is what drove me onward. I wanted nothing more than to attain the lustrous allure of the Sayori in my own work. Yet what reasons do I have now? Holding on to my scholarship? Keeping a roof over my head? Worldly desires are all that spur my brush to move, and the resulting work reflects such impurity of mind. To be honest, I'm unsure as to whether I can even call myself an artist anymore. You're tough, so tough on yourself. My apologies. It seems I got somewhat carried away there. But I simply cannot accept this lack of purpose in my work. This is why I'm so upset with my own decision. Such vague ambition is in essence a sin of sorts. Though I suppose allowing my young career to come to an end here would even be more sinful. Hmm. I only wish to create a work I can be genuinely proud of. Angelus, please look over there at the Sayuri. Her incandescent figure, alluring grey gaze, that is the meaning of pure beauty. Yet no matter how hard I try to replicate it, an elegance so sweet remains elusive to me. Why is that, you ask? It is surely because the painter behind the work differs, because the soul differs. But if my estimations are correct, the soul is nothing about another, but another way to speak of the human heart. What then if, is the heart? How does it bring forth such beauty? I must understand. To be perfectly frank, though, I am unsure of how to do so. 
Angelus, would you be able to provide me assistance? You have already brought profound change to my world. Hence, I believe you of all people may be able to bring me closer to the truth. I'll be glad to help. I'm in your debt. You would? Wonderful. At the moment, my art teacher has yet to notice my any drastic changes in my work. But I cannot hide forever. Impurity of the heart will undoubtedly seep into an artist's canvas eventually. I must go now. My curfew approaches. I'll see you. I look forward to speaking about this matter again. I like that Yusuke was able to open up to us like that. I walked Yusuke to the station. Rain, huh? I hate the rain. It always brings me down. So I checked online and people are talking about it all over. Now in my expert opinion, Lida of class 2D is guilty. You mean Lida Kun from our class? Wait, start at the beginning? What's he guilty of? Supposedly he's been spending he's been spending money left and right recently. Said it's because of some great part-time job he's got. I see. That may very well be worth looking into. Right? Can you try asking him about it, Anne? I don't think he'd be cautious around a girl. In that case, yeah, I don't mind giving it a try. Although I've rarely talked to Lita Kun before. I'll be counting on you to come to back me up if something happens, Angelus. Leave it to me. Thanks, that's a huge help. I'm hoping for some great things this time from Tamakasi-san's world-class wonderful acting. Shut it. I hope this will get us even marginally closer to their so-called boss. I leave this Lida to you. This, this Lida to you. And I hope... Or Ida. It's not Lida, it's Ida. That's a capital I. I leave this Ida to you too. I have high hopes for your acting as well, Anne. You're both missing the point. Is it true that Ida's guy is guilty? Well, we'll need to dig up some dirt first thing in the morning. Hey! Hey, weren't you gonna ask the airsoft guy about the paper bag? Yeah, I, I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I was watching television and came across a discussion about the nature of justice. Have you ever given it any thought? What is justice to you? It's the opposite of evil. I don't know. It's about helping people. I see. That's one way to look at it. But you only perceive what is on the very surface. The boy who was featured in that TV discussion is still in high school. A catchy was it? He was well spoken and skilled in the art of debate. Almost as good as I was at that age. <laughs> Almost as good as I was at that age? Well, I'll be going home then. What is it? I, it's not that I don't have anything to do. As you can see, I'm keeping an eye on you right now. Yeah, let us finally go to EY, the airsoft guy. The airsoft shop. <laughs> you again. Hey, are you going to try to sell me something weird again? Hey! That modified model gun, let's ask him about what's inside the bag. Don't freak him out, Angel, let's just ask him. I should be able to ask him at my current guts level. So what are you here for? Uh, I looked inside the bag. <sighs> I see. So you took a look inside, huh? Well, I mean, I've had it for like three weeks or a month. So, yeah. That was a custom gun that I modified to make it look as real as possible. I had a customer who was interested in it. You helped me out by smuggling it out of here so that I didn't get caught by those detectives. You can have that gun if you want. Tra, yeah. You're an accomplice now, so don't go snitching. I got everything on my security camera. Uh, I want to see more. <laughs> oh ho. Hey. Want to talk in the back? Okay. Who the hell are you? Uh, a gun customization guru. A gun enthusiast. A gun customization guru. Huh. Uh, you sure, you sure about, about that? You look like a beginner to me. Alright, you got me. I was lying. Mm. Well, I guess you got the heart of an enthusiast. <laughs> You're a strange one, kid. Wait a sec. <laughs> yeah, this could work. I can grant that wish of yours, but you better have the money. These things are worth hundreds of thousands of yen per unit. Alright, I need to get Sometimes money. Sometimes they even reach the millions, depending on how I feel. Um, I'm not sure I follow. 
Look, I ain't a bad dude. I've been known to compromise from time to time. For example, you help me out with my business, smuggling goods, destroying evidence, and as a reward, I'll introduce you to the special menu with good prices for a punk like you. What do you say? Not bad, huh? Uh... What's your goal here? That's on a need-to-know basis, and you don't need to know. Gotta fight evil with evil. I need a pawn of my own. Fight evil with evil? Uh, I don't know if I agree with that 100%, but I'm just gonna go with it for now. Don't talk to no one about this. Got it? Just follow my orders. Alright. I won't be able to get this much stronger if you don't accept... We won't be able to get much stronger if I don't accept this offer. Now what's it gonna be? You gonna take my deal or not? Um, I'll do what I can. That's fine. Okay, I'll work on that special menu for you. You should be grateful. I've made a deal with EY. I should be able to ask him to customize guns for me now, in exchange for helping him out. Yeah! It seems you had model guns in your possession as well. Their detail goes beyond a simple hobby. I'm sure some people believed those guns were real. You'll tell me how you procured them, won't you? Spill it. Yeah, I got a new I confidant. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the hanged man, persona, hanged man, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Cool. I'm just collecting them all. Starter customization allows you to customize guns to improve their performance. All right. You have unlocked the hanged man confidant. Beautiful. Oh yeah, when I don't got any business going on, I'll have you do some miscellaneous chores. Clean, run errands. There's plenty for you to do around here. Great. Must be pretty exciting for an enthusiast like you, huh? Sounds great. All right, that's enough for today. Go on, get out of here. Fantastic. Ah, oh, we're able to grab a seat. Why don't you read something until we get there? Might as well finish the alluring dancer. Hmm? Even when facing death, her soul was free. Wow. Not just her looks, but her way of life was also very beautiful. Oh. So you finished reading the alluring dancer. The great beauty Carmen lived for love and passion. I suppose life without freedom is pointless. Well, I don't know if I could live exactly like she did, but you learned a lot, didn't you? Yes, charm. Nice. All right. Angelus's charm has improved. Oh, we're almost at the station. I'd say that was an efficient use of your time. I'll say that again. The rumors are pretty terrible. Don't you think all that blackmail stuff is insane? I didn't think it had anything to do with me, but there are even victims in my class. Ooh, I know all about that. These guys supposedly come asking if you want an easy, high-paying job. But then if you say yes, you get dragged into some really shady stuff. The teachers or student council pres will do something about it, though. People are real worried. Oh, you're talking about that posting? I wonder if she was serious about it. I heard she knew about Kamoshida and the sexual harassment. She probably won't be too much help. That Ida guy's here. I'll try and ask him about it. Um, good luck. Leave it to me. That level of motivation actually makes me a little more nervous. In any case, let us know if you learn anything. Hey! 
Nijima-kun, what is going on here? Apparently the damage done by this so-called mafia has even reached our student body. Well... I thought this absurdity was nothing but a joke. Not only are there victims, there are even rumors that some are involved with such crimes. I even read inquiries, received inquiries from their guardians. Why is this happening? Unfortunately, I do not have the answer to that. This is the greatest disgrace in the history of this academy. If we were to be discovered, if it were to be discovered, this is a vital issue for the student council. Did I not ask you to resolve it? Uh, um... I'm doing the best I can. And I trust you? You must do something about this at once. You are the only one who is reliable around here. Don't let me down. <laughs> You're putting a lot of pressure on the poor girl. From what I've heard, even the other students are starting to be dissatisfied with you. At this rate, you and I will both lose our roles at this school. Do you understand? I do. Please, just give me a little more time. Tragic. Before I realize it, we're halfway through June. It's the only month of the year with no holidays, and it's filled with rain. Truly a season of hell. I'm exaggerating, you say? I'm exaggerating, you say? <laughs> You're all just ignorant. After all, what's falling from the sky is acid rain that can melt metal. Great. Art's good. Let's test your knowledge and imagination. Imagination? Give it a try. What would happen if you keep washing your hair with water that's contaminated with metal? It'll change cuddle. You'll get a perm. It'll start shining. It'll change color because of the chemicals. Yeah, because of the... Yeah, because of the metal. It'll change color. <laughs> That's, That's right! It. By the way, your hair will turn green if the metal is copper, or red if it's rust. However, acid rain can't melt gold or silver. If you want to dye your hair gold, use bronze coins. Oh, is that Ryuji's secret? Oh, that's his secret. That's his, his personal hair care. Thinking you could save money by skipping a visit to the hair salon? It seems you still don't understand the horror of acid rain. Whoa, we actually knew that? Maybe I could ask if I could borrow his notes. Nice going! Wow, you must be really smart to be able to answer a question like that. Aw, shucks. Am I still not level 3? Come All on, right. I've been answering so many good questions and studying. London was had an acid rain on the level of stomach acid. More than 4,000 people died. I did not know that. Perhaps one day such a deathly rain will fall in Japan. My heart, too, is overcast, just like in the rain that falls in the city. Oh, rain. <sighs> I'm tired of thinking up witty comments. <laughs> hey! I s hey, I see Lady Anne's going to talk to Liida. You're gonna back her up, right? I mean, I can. It's almost the rainy season, but the constant rain bumps me out and I don't want to do anything. What are you talking about? The rainy season is the time to buy limited rainy day goods. In fact, there's a limited time drizzled natto that's sold at Shibuya Station's underground level. Wow, you really know so much about specials. Okay, so it's at Shibuya Station's underground mall. That's what I heard too. Sorry for asking and you so And so, I really need some money right now. Could you tell me about this easy part-time job? I'm sure you know about it, Ida-kun, please. You don't need any of my help. A girl like you could probably get a job anywhere, right? Huh? Huh? Um, now that you mention it, yes. So, um, what I mean is... This is going south fast. Oh, Francois. Huh? Hey, wait! Hey, what are you? Um... My cat, Francois, got run over by a car and also has an in incurable illness. I need money fast. <sighs> That's not convincing at all. Is she talking about me? Uh... If Francois were to die, I think I'd die too. Probably. Come on, don't talk like that. You don't mind. If you don't do like you? it, then tell me about that easy part-time job. You know something, don't you? I've heard the rumors. Rumors? Was it Nishimi Nishiyama who? Huh? Nishiyama? Oh, uh... Hey! Hey, what was that about Nishiyama? That's... That's incredible. She actually got the momentum back? She's not acting anymore now, is she? Come on, let's leave this guy to Anne and look for that Nishima fellow. Nishima. Come on, just tell me about this job. This Nishima-kun know? 
please don't ask him. Let's go try to get some information from this Nishiyama. Hmm? All right, I don't know where Nishiyama hangs out, but we're going to search. Hey. Oh, Mishima, do you have a minute? Um. You're looking for something, right? I want to help you out, so please ask me anything. Um, where's Nishima? Nishima, he usually hangs out with Ida. So, oh, so you want to ask him about Ida? Well, that's that's why Tamak that's why Tamaki-san was chasing sorry. him. I'm sorry, I don't know where he is right now. He usually stays till late, so I think he probably still somewhere oh. in the school. I'll keep digging around while you're looking for him. Mm. Well, I guess we can let him handle this. We'll have to ask someone else about Nishima's whereabouts. Can you think of anyone who might know? Focus. Um, I don't know. We'll, I'll keep looking around. Maybe the newspaper person? Maybe. I, is this about the scam group? I heard some of the students have become victims. It would cause quite a lot of buzz if you could solve it. Let me know if you learn anything. At art school, and is President Nijima keeping an eye on you? The student council's on edge. Hurry up. Do you have anything you want to ask about? The mafia, the victims of school. Nishima. Nishima, are you looking for him? He's a really serious student with great grades. I always see him at the library after school. The library is just up on the one floor above this one. Why don't you go talk to him? Thank you. I knew that somebody in the media would know. Ida. Ida-kun from your class? I've heard he's a serious student. Although he has seemed a little down lately. I wonder what happened. The victims at our school. The principal asked for us to come forward with any information we might have, right? I heard someone did come to the student council saying they were being threatened. I don't want to assume this of you, but you didn't have anything to do with that, right? Nobody here. here. I kind of wanted to go to the courtyard, though. Oh, no way. Oh, come on. Courtyard. Mm -hmm. There's nothing in particular that I need to do here. I never get to go in the gym. It's so humid, I don't even want to move. I wish that at least this rainy season would be over soon. The weather will be bearable then. It won't end for a while though, and I'm sure that when it does, it'll be burning hot outside. Hmm? Oh, they can't just tell us to stay away from Shibuya. I have to go to cram school there. This is so dumb. The Mafia is just a bunch of low-life losers, aren't they? I don't care if people want to be criminals, but don't do anything that might affect my life. Jeez. The weather was first thing said. I don't care what to deal with this Mafia. The police needs to arrest them all. library then. Oh, Makoto. What's wrong? Uh, it's nothing. I was just looking at the bulletin. Anyway, how is the investigation going? I don't believe there's much time left at this point. Um, do you have any info? You mean about the bulletin? Sorry, but there's nothing I can say to you right now. Anyway, this is a very important matter for our school. I hope you can return with good news. And don't worry, I'll keep my promise as long as you uphold your end of the bargain. Okay. I'm I I'm going to have to like trust what she's saying. So I have to return something in the library anyway. I need to go to the library.
Do you really need to sit down and read for right now? Save that for later. <sighs> I just want... It'll only take me a second to return it. Sheesh, you're so bossy. Do you really need to sit down... Nishima? Nishima? That's me. You're that transfer student, right? You need something? Um, what's this about a job? Job? Are you talking about that one time? I don't know. I said I didn't want to do it. Th that's something Ida... Wait. Are you... Are you doing something to him? He's been acting really strange lately. Um, I want to help him. W what do you mean? Is he really wrapped up in something shady? Um, tell me what you know. Oh wait, Ugh. he asked if you were interested in, e in an easy part-time job. I said I wasn't, but Ida was into it. He was asking the guy all sorts of questions. What was his job? Uh, I don't know. I was so scared I ended up going home alone. But according to Ida, it only takes 10 minutes and is good for people who don't stand out. Um, anything else? Ida started spending a lot of money. That's when his strange behavior began too. But that's all I know. That's but that's all I know. That's enough, right? Mm. A man on Central Street. How hmm. suspicious. This is suspicious. Maybe he was making him commit crimes. Ah, uh, have you found anything? Have you found out anything, Angelus? I've tried looking into this high-paying part-time job myself. People seem to be talking about it here as well. Supposedly, a man will talk to you in a broad daylight over the Central Street. Over on Central Street. I just found that out. And your job is to deliver a small envelope he hands you. Well, I'll contact you again if I learn anything more. So that means this part-time job is somehow crime-related. It takes 10 minutes, is good for people who don't stand out, and involves a small envelope. Well. Does that ring any bells? It's something a mafia would definitely be up to. Murder. Fraud. Prostitution. Drugs? Maybe? Oh. Like illegal drugs? Maybe they make Ida smuggle drugs for them. That definitely fits with a small envelope, and you can get arrested just for possession. It's a guess. Did you meet Nishima? Well, I looked into Ida on my own anyway. Rumor has it that he just got involved in some kind of suspicious part-time job, and that job's apparently totally insane. Something about trafficking drugs, I think. I called it. I hear that they take you ask that they task ask you to take part of it in this down in Central Street in broad daylight even. For real? So he is smuggling. This won't be pretty. Come on, let's go back to Lady Anne. I'll ask we'll ask Ida directly. So. Don't you really need to sit <sighs> That's so annoying. I, it's like it's right there. I just need to drop off a book. Damn it. Will you just let me get this stuff done? Hey. Please tell me about the job, or else my beloved Francois. <sighs> She's still doing that. Alright, take over for her. Um tell us the truth. Arts? Come on, you too? I already told you I don't know. Um We have proof. We have proof. Proof? You gotta be lying. You can't trick me. Come on, you two. You two. I already know I told you. I don't know. Nisiyama told me everything. He did? I was trying, like, to avoid having to throw Nisiyama under the bus, but I guess he's really the only other person who would know. Well, if you already know about it, fine. But I don't want to talk about it here. Let's go somewhere a little quieter. What's up with what? you? Especially in front of everyone. Yeah, I got a job. So what? Isn't that normal? What are you getting at? You're a tutor. You're a pizza smuggler. You're a drug smuggler. How did you... I've only told one person about that. All people. I can't believe you were the one to find out. Chill. It's all good, bro. It'll be all good soon. You're right. They told me they had an easy part-time job for me, and I ended up smuggling drugs. All I had to do was put envelopes into coin lockers, and they said they'd give me a hefty paycheck. I didn't know what was in the envelopes, though. Still, this is what came out of it. Are you being threatened? So you knew, huh? They started threatening me right after they deposited the money into my bank account. Yeah, that's not cool. They had pictures of me carrying the goods. Said they'd expose what I did unless I paid them off. You know? Why are you even asking me this stuff? Are you just gonna use my job to blackmail me too? No. Never. I see. Well, even if you were planning on doing that, I don't have any money I could give you. If you're really interested in that job, try heading over to Central Street. That's where they told me about it. 
I, I told you everything you want to know, right? Can I go? Well then. Alright, thanks. Now we can get this show on the road. How'd it go? Did Anne's acting help at all? I'm thinking probably not. It went perfectly, I think. More importantly, were you able to find anything, Angelus? It's drugs. So they ask you to deliver drugs. That's serious. I just searched for Shibuya drugs and got tons of hits, too. So they're making people traffic drugs, then threatening them. That must be what I had heard people talking about in Shibuya. They seem to be going about this quite openly during the daytime. What bold methodology. I would have imagined they would do it at night. I wonder why they chose the day. They go for high schoolers. I see. Yes, more students will be out during the day, while the police will be more cautious at night. Ryuji, you're over in Shibuya right now, right? Did you see anyone like that there? Yeah, I'm at Central Street. It's tough to tell, though. I mean, there are just way too many people. The rain's not helping out either. The sun will be setting soon. Should we? What should we do, Angelus? Let's stop for today. Let's do this tomorrow. Let's stop for today. Yeah, we can team up and try searching again tomorrow. I bet Ryuji would get picked up by the cops if he was out there alone anyway. Shut up. In any case, we should have a f we can have we have some new intel. Let us call that progress for today. Whoever asks us to take on that job should know who their boss is too. All right, you I'll get in touch with you guys later tonight and we can come up with a plan. Cool. We have a lead. I thought I actually had a customer, but it's just you. I never get I never get many customers when it rains. The cash register is gonna run dry at this rate. We have to find them tomorrow for sure. This is the only lead we have right now. Yes, it is highly likely that this part-time solicitor is somehow related to the mafia. If we tail him, he may lead us straight back to his boss. He talked to Ida and Nishiyama over at Central Street, right? Indeed, it seems that is where our target waits. But then, who should be the one to go? Leave it to me. Ryuji got this. Morgana, I choose you. That's not a bad idea. Cats have nine lives, right? Morgana can spare one for this. Wouldn't the Mafia get caught off guard if they had a cat coming to deliver drugs for him? In other words, Angelus will be going. I have no... In other words, Angelus will be going. I have no objections. Tricking people and using that as blackmail. These bees are true cowards. It's kind of scary to think... People like that are all around us in this city. Well, guys, we gotta brace ourselves. We're up against a serious criminal here. Alright, guys, we're gonna continue in the next episode. So until then, love yourselves and love each other.